Hey guys, it's me Delta One here with Airsoft Talk. Hey guys, You're watching Airsoft Talk. Bring your family. Hey guys, it's me Delta One here with Airsoft Talk, and today I'm bringing you a review that is brought to you by RaptorsAirsoft.com. Which is awesome because they have parts at really good prices. So. Today I'm bringing you a mini review of the Element Max Speed Short Type Motor. Um, so let's get on. The packaging has changed, um, but they have a big evil Lego skull. So that's why I bought this, because of that. Because it's awesome. Anyways, this motor is particularly good, in my opinion, because I've used them before. And I pushed up to about 58 rounds per second using one of these. So let's open this up so I can tell you some more things about it. Now, Element is basically a company based in Hong Kong that makes very affordable but yet high quality parts for your Airsoft AEG upgrade components and even externals. So that's one of the main reasons I like Element. Now, when you take it out of your, your box, you'll see that the pinion gear, they changed their pinion gear. This isn't, eh, it looks like they kind of changed it. Maybe it's not like it used to be. Um, Element pinion gears have had a horrible reputation for not being good, but to be honest, a trip to Ace Hardware and a 0.5 millimeter Allen key or a pinion gear remover will fix that problem with an SHS D-type. It is a D-type motor. And as you can see, this motor has got magnetic powers of mass proportion. But uh, other than that, the brushes are decent size. And the, br the way that a motor works is, you know, two brushes pull in here. And then after that, I have no idea how it works. But uh, basically, it goes really fast. Now, most high-speed motors are rated to an M120 spring. And they don't like to venture any higher. Uh, because mainly, it just can't handle it. But this can handle up to an M140 under the right circumstances and under a great technician. You can do an M130 with no problems. Now, the Element motors, one of the main reasons I prefer these motors over most of the motors on the market is because these like to run cold. And by cold, I mean they don't get hot. And I'm a support gunner, so I, I know my motors. Um, SHS motors that tend to get hotter quicker these run bone cold, just period. Now, I'm not saying SHS motors are bad. I'm just saying if you're just your average player, they're great. But if you're going for a support gun setup, I would get an Element High Torque or a, you know, whatever. But this high-speed motor runs at about, I want to say, 50,000 RPMs. Somewhere in that vicinity. I've heard that, and I've heard maybe 55,000 I may be getting that confused with another motor. I have so many numbers in my heads of parts, you know, RPS, rounds per second. So if, if someone wants to correct me. Now, one of the things I've had experience with with Element Motors, guys, is that the little spring coil right here that pushes, pushes the brush in. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little spring right there. I've found that the Element ones break. So, again, if you're just replacing your motor, just replace those springs. I've had bad luck with them. Um, also, the Element motor is got a type of magnet called Neodymium, which is a rare earth magnet. And rare earth magnets are, uh, tend to be a lot stronger. So, say a rare earth magnet the size of a quarter, that's about a quarter inch thick, can lift probably 30 to 45 pounds, somewhere in that vicinity. Uh, there's also, you know, earth magnets are so strong that you can't ship them to, once they get above a certain size, you can't ship them because it'll just kill any electronic and there's nothing that can hap you can do to prevent it. Also, they're so strong, if you were to put one under your hand and one on top of your hand, it would break your hand. Like, it, they, they're literally ridiculous. So it's got neodymium ma uh, magnets in here, which is really good, and it's wound up pretty well. Overall, guys, this motor is fantastic. Now, it does, and you know, with any motor exchange, there may be some modification required, but for the most part, I haven't had to modify any SEMA or 
D-Boys uh, motor cage to get this to fit. Sometimes I have to wrap tape around it to keep it from going like this. And, uh, you know, when I when you shim a motor, you shim it to the, to the gear, the bevel gear. So it engages with this properly. That's how I shim. And you want to make sure that it always stays in that same position so you don't get any, uh, it, you know, it, not really impurities, but, you know, any imprecision, I guess, if that's a word. Um, you want to keep it as precise as possible. So, other than that, I really recommend this motor. But uh, one one quick kind of little statement I want to make. If you're considering making a high-speed setup and you want to use this in 13 to 1 ratio gears, um, don't. Buy a high-torque motor, short-stroke it with an M120, and don't, don't push your luck unless... Yeah, because I tried doing that and I hit like 58-ish, and then it just it just it's just so damn fast. It's just too many problems come into hand. But other than that, I would rate this motor as a one of my top choices. I would this is my top motor right now. I enjoy these. I have an Element high torque motor that I run that's at almost 40 RPS on an M120 on 18 to 1 ratio gears. So I really recommend this motor. There's a link in the description to buy this product. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, mini review. Uh, I will have a few field review uh, sometime in the future. But for now, this is just a review I'm going to post and of most products from Raptors. So you can expect to see more videos soon, guys. And thanks for watching. And life is good.